everyone. Today I'm going to be showing you a car control move. I'll show you what it looks like and then I will tell you how it's done. So what it looks like is you have your spectator get a card and you just take their card and say look I'm going to take your card and put it somewhere into the middle of the deck just like so and you push it in but in reality it remains on top. So again that's just taking their card putting it somewhere into the middle and leaving it on top. So if you couldn't already tell by just watching the video, uh, the only thing I'm doing is palming the spectator's card off into my hand. So when I go over to act like I'm going to cut the cards and put their card into the middle, what I'm really doing is saying, okay, I'm going to take your card and right about here I'm just pushing their selection into palm as I cut the cards because cutting the cards is kind of like the cover for getting it into palm. So you're going to get it into palm at the same time you're cutting the cards pretty much. So you cut your cards, say I'll take your card, pull that next one off, put the other half back on top. As your hand comes back over and this palmed card is aligned with the deck, you're going to drop it off and you can open your fingers up and say I'm just pushing it into the middle when in reality you dropped it back off on the top. So again an exposed view from the front is you're going to take their card, and at this point you can make a little bit of uh, misdirection, look at them in the eyes, or whatever you want to do. Uh, if you're not comfortable with coming over, lifting the deck up, putting the other half down, and then dropping it back off like that, you can misdirect them for a minute, get it into palm, and then come back over and do the cut and push it into the middle. So another way that you can get the card into palm is talk to the spectator for a moment, make them have eye contact with you, and then while they're not looking you just push the card up, have it fly up into your palm like that, then you can transfer the deck to this hand, and then do the cut. And from the front that looks like, okay I'm going to just take your card, put it into the middle like so, and it remains on top. Uh, basically what that is, is I have three fingers, at the top of the deck like that and you're going to leave a little portion open on the top right here thumb in the back and pinky is just doing this you're just pushing the card up just a little bit you can see just a little bit and what you're doing is pushing down with your pinky so you're in this position and you just push down with your pinky allowing that card to pop up into your hand and again from the front they won't see it, it looks just like this. And all that's happening is you just let it pop up. Now it's in palm. And then you can just do the cut like that, come back over, drop it off, open your hand, and square what they think is their card into the middle of the deck. So for those of you who are not comfortable doing the classic palm, there is another way you can do this card control. Uh, those of you with small hands, or like I said, not comfortable doing the classic palm, uh, you can use a Tenkai Palm, which is what I usually use. i uh, more comfortable using that, and it looks better in my opinion. Um, basically what that is, is you're just taking the card, and it looks like this. You say, I'll put it into the middle, and I'm just going to square it in, just like that. Now usually they're going to be looking down at your hands, and they won't look straight on like you guys are. So it looks better in person than it does on camera, but you just say, I'm going to take your card, put it somewhere into the middle, and square it up. Take your card, put it into the middle, and square it up just like so. And you've kept it on top. So I'm not going to go too much in depth on this uh, palm actually. I'm going to leave a link in the description where you can go check out a guy uh, that made a really good tutorial of it and he'll teach you really in depth how to do this palm. But what it looks like basically is their cards on top. You're going to push it off into your hand while you're misdirecting them. Or if you're good enough and you get fast enough that you can kind of just do it while they're looking. But you're pushing this card. Your hand's coming to meet it as you push about halfway off. And you're going to put it underneath this finger line. Here it's going to be, you know, where they can't see it. So it's coming here. Your thumb's coming down to connect just like so. So you're holding it just like this. And from the front, they can't see that. You don't want to be too far down or too far up. You kind of want their eyes looking at the back of your hand obviously right guys um, so 
from the front it's like this and you can kind of move around freely you get to the point where it looks like you're not holding a card so you're just like this you can kind of keep your hand here as long as these fingers are blocking and they can't see through you can kind of just keep your hand here talk a little while open your fingers a couple of times and they think their cards on top so you're just like okay I'm gonna take your card if they make eye contact with you that's when you want to do it if not you can kind of just be like okay I'm gonna take your card and if you can get into it quick enough you don't have to make misdirection but again it's like this you're gonna take what they think is their card into the middle come back over just basically swinging your hand back up dropping it off as you come forward to say I'm gonna push your card into the middle just like that so again in fast motion I'll take your card into the middle just like so I'm going to push it just like that and you kept it right here on top of the deck sorry guys um, anyways yeah that's it for this video I really hope you all enjoyed if you did please like the video and leave a comment down below and subscribe if you want more car tutorials I post a new video every single week, so sometimes I do things different than cars. Sometimes I do ring magic, coin magic, you know, whatever I feel like doing for that week. But yeah, if you enjoyed it, please do subscribe. It is greatly appreciated. I also do a deck giveaway every 25 subscribers. So if you want to share the video with any friends and have them subscribe, then that is also greatly appreciated. Uh, but yeah, until next time, I will see you all in the next video. And again, thank you so much for watching.